Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making 10 cards with the Spellbinders card kit for December 2021. This kit is called Beauty is Everywhere. I'm going to start out doing an unboxing so you can see all of the things that are included in this kit and if you are interested in this kit I will have a link in the description box of this YouTube video which will take you directly to the Spellbinders website where you can make a purchase. I also want to mention that my links in the description box are affiliate links. This simply means that when you click on my link and make a purchase I do get a small commission of the sale at no extra cost to you. Using my links helps me be able to bring more content to show you on my channel and I truly appreciate it when you use my links when making purchases. So with every card kit you do get a card that looks like this and it has all of the contents in the kit. There's also some inspiration cards. So if you wanted to use your kit to copy the cards that are here and then on the back side, it does go over how to make the card shown on this page. So you get nine pieces of cardstock in the colors that you see here. There is one piece of the gold mirror cardstock that's included in this kit. And I love the Spellbinders gold mirror cardstock because it is mirror on both sides. It's such high quality and it's so beautiful. They do sell that mirror cardstock separately as well. With every card kit, you get a pack of 10 card bases and 10 envelopes. These are A2 in size, which measure four and a quarter by five and a half. Also included in every card kit is a thing of foam dots as well as double-sided tape. Included in this card kit are these really pretty butterfly stickers and they have a foam dot on the back of them so they do have dimension. You also get these frames. There are a total of six of them. There are three smaller frames and then three larger frames. And these frames would also be great for shakers. You can make some shakers out of this and I will be making a shaker in my video today. They also have adhesive on the back so they are sticky. So you can just remove that adhesive and stick them down to your cards. And then you also get the stamp set. There are two butterflies. There's a bird with a flower. There's a bird cage, a key, and then some sentiments. Let's celebrate you, home sweet home, and where there is love, there is life. Here are some more dimensional stickers. There's a typewriter, a flower, a couple of um, sentiments, and you can see the dimension on there. They have some foam on the back as well. And here are the dies that are included in this kit. Your idea card that came with your kit will show you how to use your dies to make a card. This particular die is a border die and it shows you what it looks like here. They did it out of some gold mirror cardstock and put two borders on that card panel. There's also a butterfly. So you have the solid and then you also have the top piece and you'll need both of those dies to actually cut that top layering piece out. There's also some flowers and some leaves. And then this small die right here, that is just for the center part here of the butterfly. You also get a pack of pink sequins. You can use these for just some sequins on your cards or you can use them for your shakers if you wanted to make shakers out of those frames. So you also get a pack of ephemera. You always get two pieces of each ephemera. So if you wanted to make two of the same card, you can do that because you have two pieces here. There are several butterflies in this pack. So here's a couple here and you also get there's some doilies here's another butterfly there's a hot air balloon there's also some borders there are some sentiments there you can see on the table today is your day happy birthday thankful and there's a love sentiment and last but not least, you get a six by six paper pad. So I'm gonna quickly go through the papers. You can see the various color schemes. There's a lot of teals and there's some grays and pinks and peaches. A lot of pastel colors are in here. There's a few blacks as well. And you get two of each one of these sheets that you see and they are single sided. 
now I'm going to go ahead and start with my first card and I do want to mention that I will have all card measurements listed in my blog at www.lisamearsdesigns.com. So that black pattern paper, it does measure four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I'm adding one of the borders from the ephemera pack to the bottom. And then I'm gonna add this frame. I did take the double-sided adhesive backing off, but I'm still using glue to adhere it in the center of that card. I'm going to add this flower from the sticker sheet right to the center of that frame. And on that flower, it has a sentiment that says, beauty is everywhere. So I go ahead and add that to the center. I am going to, I decide that I need to add a few more of these little foam squares to the bottom just to make sure that it just stays um, even on that card front. So I just add a few there and then add that back to the card front. I'm going to add this entire layer to a piece of pink cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to add a few of these pink sequins to the front of this card. And then I will finish this off by just adding that card layer to one of the A2 size card bases that came in this kit. And that will complete my first card. So moving on to my second card, I'm going to make this frame a shaker. So I cut down a piece of acetate to fit the size of the frame and I removed the backing off the frame. I just put a little bit of glue along the inside border and then I'm adding a piece of acetate to my frame. Okay, so next I'm going to take some foam that I had in my stash and I'm using long strips of foam. These are just some strips of foam that I had left over with a Queen and Company card kit that I previously had. So I just cut those down to size and I'm putting them on the edge of my frame. So just making a square on the edge of my frame, making sure that the foam is connecting from one piece to the other. When you're doing a shaker, you wanna make sure that you don't have any gaps between the foam because you don't want to have your sequins or any of your foam pieces end up falling out. So you wanna make sure that the gap is closed around all of that foam. So you can see there, I just use a small half piece of foam and then I have to fill in this small little piece with just a smaller piece of foam. So again, no gaps to make sure all the sequins stay in place. Now I'm just taking a powder tool and putting some powder on that acetate on the inside because I don't want my sequins to stick. I'm gonna go ahead and put my sequins in the middle of a white card panel and it's at the top middle portion of that card panel. That card panel measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So now I'm just removing the adhesive backing of my foam. I always like to still add glue even though the foam has a sticky back. Just it's an extra layer of security for me so that I know that it's gonna stay permanently. And then I just add that square right on top to keep those sequins in place. And now I'm just gonna decorate this frame with some of the ephemera. So I'm adding a rose in the bottom right hand corner and I'm also going to add this bird ephemera as well. I'm also going to add the word thankful towards the top of that frame. And next I'm taking a piece of gold mirror cardstock, adding some double-sided adhesive to the back. I'm going to use this gold mirror cardstock with the adhesive to die cut that border die. I want to make sure that that whole border is a sticker so I don't have to worry about putting glue on the back. You can see what an intricate die that is when it comes out of the die cut machine. So here I'm just going to add that border towards the bottom of my card. It adds, adds a really pretty accent to the bottom. I'm just going to snip off the ends and then I'm going to add that card layer to the front of one of the A2 size card bases that is included in this card kit. And that completes my second card. For my next card, I'm taking this piece of pattern paper and I just want to cut this strip along the left side. So I am going to just use my paper trimmer to trim that off. So now I have a piece of the stripe pattern paper. It's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I also have a pink solid piece that is about one eighth inches by five and three eighths. And I'm just putting it right underneath that piece that I had initially trimmed off just to add a little bit of a pink accent to the right edge of that strip. And then that entire strip will go on that striped pattern paper. So I'm just gonna put glue there on the back, 
add it to the left edge of the striped pattern paper and I will just trim off the excess. So that strip of paper that I initially cut off, it is going to measure um, 1 and 5 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. And then that entire layer will go on a piece of pink solid cardstock that measures 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Next I have a butterfly that I'm going to add some foam right to the center. I'm going to add that butterfly to this little doily. So that butterfly is standing up and I'm just going to kind of lift those wings up a little bit more. I will put a little piece of foam on the inside of each wing and then I'm going to add that doily to this card layer. Next I'm going to add the word love. This is an ephemera piece. Add that to the card and then I'm going to add a few of the pink sequins to that card front. Next I'm going to add this card layer to an A2 size card base and that will complete my card. For my next card I'm going to be using this black frame and this doily. I first remove the adhesive backing of the frame. I'm going to pop this doily on the back. I am going to snip off the bottom part of that doily because it does extend a little bit further beyond that frame. And then the sentiment that says love, laughed, and celebrate, that's going to go right in the middle of that doily and I'll add that in just a moment. But first I have this piece of pattern paper that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I'm adding that to a piece of black cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little piece of scrap cardstock to the top portion of this sentiment just because I want to make sure that it lays flat on top of this frame. So I'll add that there. And then I did die cut two gold butterflies. These butterflies are from the die that came in the kit. So I go ahead and add the two to the frame on that card front. If you wanted to add another layer underneath that gold, you can always die cut the solid piece of the die and add another layer, but I just chose to use the top piece. And when you're die cutting this an intricate part of the butterfly, you need to make sure that you have both the solid die and the intricate die layered together in order to cut out the piece that you see me use on this card. So I go ahead and add those butterflies. I do add another sentiment there at the top that says forever. I did die cut the center part of the butterfly with just some pink cardstock and I'm just adding that in. And then I'm going to add some of the pink sequins to the front of this card. And I'll add that entire layer to the A2 size card base. And that's going to complete this card. For my next card, I have this peach pattern paper. It's 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 I'm going to add it to this off-white piece of cardstock that came in the kit. That off-white piece is four and a quarter by five and a half. I am going to use the teal frame and layer up some ephemera on that frame. I love the frames in this kit. I think I used all but one for my cards today. So I go ahead and peel back the double-sided backing on that frame. I add that to the front of the card. This one is just going to go on straight and I'm going to add the flowers as well as this little piece of paper with the flowers. And then I'm also going to add a sentiment that says today is your day. Since the bottom part of that sentiment had a little bit of white showing, I just used my scissors just to trim off that white. I used the border die from the kit and I die cut another border out of the gold mirror cardstock. This time I'm going to make sure that border is the width of the frame. So I'm just trimming off part of the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and add that down underneath the frame. And then I'll go ahead and use glue and just add all of those ephemera pieces onto the frame. I also add one of the butterfly stickers. The butterfly is the same color, it's the teal and the peach as the card and it looks really pretty. So just add that to a card base and that finishes my card. Moving on to my next card, I'm taking this border ephemera piece and the bottom of that border had some white. I'm just cutting that off and I'm going to trim off the white on the sides as well because I didn't want any of that white to show. 
So I have this piece of pattern paper that measures five and three quarters by three and a quarter, and I'm putting that border on the bottom, just snipping off the edges, and then that is gonna go on a piece of black cardstock that's five and seven eighths by three and three eighths. This is gonna be a mini slimline size card. So I am gonna be incorporating the Spellbinders stamp of the month. It has the words love you here, and there's all these flowers in this stamp set, and then there's these solid stamps. So if you wanted to use the solids to fill the flowers, you can. But this is just a brief look of what it looks like. I'm gonna be doing another video using this stamp set, so be sure to check that out but I wanted to incorporate it on this card because I wanted to use the sentiment love you so I'm going ahead and using my misty here I put that card layer in the misty I just rested that ephemera um, the ephemera piece on there just so that I can get a good um, visual of where I want to lay everything out I stamp out the word love and then I come back in with the word you and I'm gonna stamp that out and I'm just stamping it up in some black ink. Now all of these little letters in the words love you have flowers on the letters. You could if you wanted to, let's say if you had some white cardstock, you wanted to color those up, you can totally do that, but I'm leaving all of mine black. I'm just gonna add a fan, I'm adding a flower and I'm adding a black and white butterfly. I just glued down the center so that the wings stay popped up. And then I'm gonna add that to a mini slimline card base that measures six by three and a half inches. I do add some silver gems to the center of the butterfly just to add a little bit of bling. And by the way, to get a mini slimline card base, just take a piece of cardstock, cut it to seven inches by six inches, and score it at three and a half inches on the seven inch side. So here's a look at my completed card. And moving on to my next card, the flower paper is three and five eighths by four and one eighth. And then I'm using this strip of paper with the stripes on it. That was just from a previous card. It was a scrap that I had. So I figured I'd go ahead and use it across the length of this card. That strip is five and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And then I'm going to layer that onto a piece of the off-white solid cardstock that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to incorporate this pink frame, but I'm gonna put a little background on this. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here around the frame. I did cut another piece of pattern paper down to two and seven eighths by three, just to add another piece of color behind this frame. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add glue along the back of the whole frame, and then just put this at a little slant on this landscape card front. So next I'm gonna start building all of the ephemera pieces. I love this little typewriter that's included in one of the stickers, and I think the colors on it and the flowers on it are so pretty. I do bring in another butterfly, again the same uh, teal and peach colors. I love these colors together. And I'm also going to be bringing in the ooh la la sentiment and adding that there to across the top. Just love all of these pastel colors on this card. And then I'll add that to my card base. And I'm going to add a few of the pink sequins to this card front. And then that's gonna complete this card. For my next card, I'm gonna be doing something a little different and I'm gonna be making a four by four size card. And I'm using this brand new die from Spellbinders. It's the Scalloped Symphony Note Card die. Now to make the card base, you take this large scallop die and there is a score die that you place right there in the middle of that large die and that will put the score in your cardstock when you run this through your die cutting machine. If you did not want to use that score die to put a score there, you can actually use the rectangle piece for a slimline size card. So when that comes out of the die cut machine, I just fold along the score line and it makes a four by four card and it has these beautiful scallops along the edge. I recently made a video using this die set and I made a few cards, so I will be sure to put that link in the video description as well, in addition to the product link on Spellbinder's website. So this die set also includes some layering dies. These are the square dies, so I took the square die, die cut a piece of black cardstock, and now I'm taking this other square die and I'm placing it on this piece of pattern paper over the bird because I want to die cut 
just this bird out of this pattern paper. So once I place it there, I'll add some tape and then I'll run that through my die cutting machine. And what that does is it cuts out that bird shape in the shape of that square. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the black cardstock layer and then I'll add that to the four by four note card. I'm just gonna add a few of the sentiments. It's for you with love. And I'm gonna add a few of the pink sequins and that's gonna finish up this card. So my next card is also going to be a mini slimline size card. So this black pattern paper, it's measured at one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. I'm going to add that to the pink pattern paper. That's three and three eighths by five and seven eighths. I had die cut a circle and I was going to use the sentiment circle that you see there, but I ended up not using it and I actually went with a different style for my card. So I'm adding this pattern to a piece of black cardstock that's three and a half by six. So I go ahead and take out this pink border. I add that to the side of the black strip and I decide just to go with a couple of the butterflies and the word thankful. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these ephemera pieces to the front of this mini slimline card front. So that's gonna go on a mini slimline card base and my mini slimline card base measures three and a half inches by six inches. So I'll just finish up this card by adding a few silver gems to the front of it and that will complete this card. So my next card, I go with the same theme as this previous card. It's gonna be a mini slimline card that is a vertical card. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this piece of pattern paper right down the middle of my slimline card base. It's the teal pattern paper. It measures three and an eighth by six. I do have a little bit of the white edge on both sides that is showing there on that card base. The card base measures three and a half by six. I do add that peach strip, which is one and seven eighths by six. And then I'm gonna add these butterfly stickers and I'm gonna add a sentiment that says with love. My sentiment is going to have some foam dots on the left side and then the right side under the word love, I'm actually gluing that directly to the butterfly wing. I do stick a little foam dot underneath that wing just to keep it flat on that card. I did add a few of the pink sequins to the front and that will complete this card. And here's a look at all 10 cards that I made with the Spellbinders December 2021 card kit. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know which card was your favorite. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials. Thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.